Hey everybody, my name is Mila Gregg. I'm the CEO and owner of Moda Image and Brand Consulting based right here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I have been doing branding in some way, shape or form for over 20 years now and really help executives at all levels, whether you're brand new into the workforce or even if you're getting ready to retire and maybe even look for a corporate board seat, really helping people to build their personal brand, uh, build who they are, allow the world to see their gifting and their value in a way that isn't silly or cheesy. Uh, over the past 20 years, I've been helping executives to get promotions, to be seen, to move to a different company, to stay at the same company, to have lateral moves, um, anything and in between all of that. Many people get skipped over for so many things because they simply haven't found a way, the best way to share what their personal brand is, to share their gifting in a way that shows how valuable they are. And the crazy thing about a personal brand is that you don't actually own your brand, right? It's what people think about you when they see you, hear you, or even read something that you've written. Um, a brand, a first impression of a brand is a quarter of a second, so says Harvard Med and many other studies. And there are other studies that say it takes up to five years to fix a poor first impression. So your personal brand is something that you have that allows you to create stories, build on your reputation, share your gifting and share your value. A couple of the core pieces I wanted to talk about today because it's so important that you have a good foundation. When you make a mistake, which I know none of you ever do, right? Perfect people here. I'm just kidding. I know we all make mistakes. But when you do make your next mistake, just remember a brand is your foundation and you only fall as far as your brand allows you to fall. So if you make a mistake and people know who you are, they assume that it's something that well, you just kind of did. But if they don't know you, it's a little bit harder. And if you don't have a strong foundation, people might assume that you make that mistake all of the time. Time, right it's so important that people know who you are so some pieces of brand that are important and you'll you'll actually some of you are going to get a copy of my recent book called forged by fire how to develop an unstoppable personal brand I wrote it in a way that allows you to actually build from the first chapter to the last everything from why do you do what you do to leadership skills and in the book I actually in every single chapter I'll give you more books or more resources that if you go gosh I really need to work on my emotional intelligence and self-awareness here's a podcast here's a book I need to read if I want to work on how I communicate I really don't have radical candor well shoot here's a book that I can read so every chapter has more resources some of us have to work on different muscles and I thought it was really important to separate those so that you could pick the chapter that you want to go back to and continue to work on it. So when we get started, we'll talk about things like things like core values, three to five keywords that you want people to use to define you in any, really in any circumstance, whether that's excellence, truth, integrity, um, passion, whatever those words are, just like an incredible company has values or statements, you know, mission statements, or even brand promises now, they have these words in place that allow everybody to understand very quickly what the values they have to offer and the words that they find very important, those core values, those pieces that you don't veer from. We'll talk about social media when we are in personal branding sessions. We'll talk about how to tell stories and even how to segment those stories to different audiences. We all have so many things to offer, but not everybody wants to hear all parts of us at the same time. So we learn to find out what's important to this person, what's important to this person, and then we learn to share the right stories at the right time in the right way. So personal branding is so much more than just one thing uh, or another. It has so many components. And I'm so excited because I hear that I am going to work with a couple of you uh, starting hopefully next week or the week after and look forward to meeting those of you that I'm working with. Very excited. We'll talk about brand, we'll do consultation, we'll talk about a few components of your brand that you may want to take a look at, and then I look forward to hearing your stories and how we can best help build a bit of a foundation so that you can start building your brand even greater in person and online. And for everybody else, I would love any questions that you have, please link in with me. I love LinkedIn. I'm on there every single day, so don't hesitate, and I look forward to seeing the, those of you that I get to work with over the next couple of weeks. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Talk to all of you soon.